keeping the romance alive in any relationship. Well, maybe it's the challenge these just, days. Just a little bit sometimes. Mm. The world went crazy when it was recently discovered that TJ Holmes and Amy Robach have been having an affair. And you've been training. With you, and I run behind you, and you keep the pace. I don't have to worry about these things. <laughs> After they were photographed together getting a little too close. But the real story behind this affair is honestly way more insane than anything that you've ever seen in the news, and you'll never believe what actually happened with these two. It's like a couple that was doing fine, and then you go to therapy to see Jennifer, and now we got problems. <laughs> To fully understand the story, you have to go a few years back in both of their lives. For TJ, it starts with his first marriage. He married a fellow journalist named Amy Furson around the year 2000. They had two kids together, but by 2007, they were divorced for unknown reasons. Just three years later, in 2010, TJ married his current wife, Marley Feibig, and they had a child together. So on the surface, this seems like a pretty average relationship history, right? Well, as we all now know, that's not the case at all. I want everybody to get married. I think everybody should and I think you're better off in, in doing so. Way more was going on behind the scenes than anyone could have ever expected. During the first few years of his marriage to Marley, TJ went on Entertainment Tonight and talked about how much he loved marriage. He claimed that he was a marriage guy and that he loved encouraging people to get married because being married had made him a better person. And let's all keep that in mind for the rest of this story. So by 2014, TJ had been hired by Good Morning America and this is when everything went downhill. I think you want to make sure that you can get out with your shirt still on. Okay. But not with Amy Robach. Well, not that we know of. In 2015 or 2016, TJ began having an affair with a producer on Good Morning America, Natasha Singh. And this affair went on for three years before his wife Marley found out about it via some work emails and she was devastated but took him back. And that was why his 2020 Instagram post, that's now gone viral was posted and I think we all know the one I'm talking about the one where he made it very obvious that he was guilty of something because he said in quotes this particular decade challenge is a little late but 10 years ago Marley Feibig married me and despite my best efforts she remained married to me the past 10 years that's not hyperbole I'm not being dramatic I gave her plenty of reasons excuses and opportunities to walk her fine bleep out the door but instead with her built-in black woman superpower, she showed a grace and patience that's incomprehensible. Asking for her for another 10 years would be too much, another 10 months, that may even be a stretch. If she gave me another 10 weeks, I should consider myself lucky. If she puts up with me another 10 days, I'd be grateful. And if this doesn't scream guilty, I don't know what does. But what people don't realize about this whole timeline is a few pretty big things. First of all, TJ and Amy had been friends for years at this point, even before they worked together on Good Morning America. And supposedly, when TJ got hired by Good Morning America, Amy said that she was thrilled because she and TJ were such good friends and that she'd been going on double dates with him and his wife for years, which is already pretty strange knowing what we now know. But then she said that they'd been looking for ways to work together for years. And obviously, we have no proof of this, but is it possible that something was going on with them years ago? And well, it only gets weirder because allegedly, Amy and Natasha, TJ's first mistress, were very close friends and they only stopped being friends very recently, like when Amy and TJ started seeing each other. But I don't want to seem like the entire thing is TJ's fault because it's absolutely not. If anything, Amy might be more to blame here because as bizarre as TJ's story is, Amy's is a million times worse and she gave us all the details in her memoir. It started with a guy she met in college named Tim McIntosh and they were on and off for years and it sounds like she honestly wanted nothing to do with him or maybe she just made it sound like that for the sake of her book, but they broke up and got back together a bunch of different times, including one time where she said that she had an emotional affair with a man she met while she was working in South Carolina, and does that sound familiar? Eventually, Tim convinced her to marry him, even though Amy claimed that she wanted to run away the night before the wedding, but her mom stopped her, and she claimed that she wasn't even in love with him, and yet they had two kids together, and they were married for 12 years, but she claimed that in 2008, she and Tim agreed that they needed to find true love because they weren't in love and she claimed
claims that Tim met someone new almost immediately, but to me, it sounds like she did too, and she's just not admitting it, because in April of 2009, she supposedly met Andrew Shu at a book party, and by September 2009, they were engaged, and even though they had five young kids between them, and clearly a lot of logistics to figure out, they jumped right in. She moved her daughters out of Princeton, New Jersey, where he lived, only to be so miserable that she moved into an apartment in the city with her daughters while he stayed in Princeton so that his sons could stay at their school, and this turned into Andrew visiting whenever he didn't have his kids until finally his boy's mother wanted to move, and when she wanted to take their youngest son with her and send the oldest sons to boarding school, which meant that Andrew could move to New York City, which he did for Amy, and it seemed like everything was fine until Andrew's dad passed away in 2014, and Amy seemed to handle it horribly. Apparently, she had no idea how to be there for him, and she just generally sounded pretty awful, but things got especially bad when she was diagnosed with breast cancer, and even though Andrew stepped up and was by her side through everything, she said that that diagnosis caused a massive rift in their relationship because their needs changed so much. But even though they made it through all of these storms, apparently it wasn't enough to save the relationship because this massive storm is the biggest one yet. And it's definitely the one that's got everyone talking. I mean, let's just look at this objectively for a second. Amy and TJ's reps swear up and down that an affair didn't happen. They claim that Amy and Andrew split in August of 2020, and so did TJ Mar Lee. and Marley. And maybe that is true. Amy and Andrew did list their apartment for sale in September of 2020, which lines up with this timeline, but TJ and Marley were traveling together in July of 2020, and does that sound like a couple on the brink of divorce to you? Because it doesn't to me, like, at all. But then you have the weirdest part of this puzzle, at least to me, I just really don't believe that those pictures of the two of them were taken by a random paparazzi. I mean, think about it. These are two hosts on Good Morning America for crying out loud. Loud. It's not like they're A-list celebrities or even on the first hour of Good Morning America like Michael Strahan or something. So when does paparazzi ever follow around the host of the third hour of Good Morning America, not only in Manhattan, but in upstate New York? So to me, it seems like these pictures had to have been taken by a hired private investigator. And I wouldn't be shocked if Marley or Andrew had a feeling that something was going on and hired a PI only to leak the pictures themselves. Now, obviously, I have no proof of that, but let's just think of this logically for a second. Did anyone care that much about these two before this whole scandal? Definitely not enough for paparazzi to be following them around, but that's just my theory. And now obviously I don't know these people, but after everything that I've seen about them and everything that I've read about them and their mutual history of cheating on their partners and even their strange behavior together on camera over the years, I absolutely do not put it past them that they had an affair. And I honestly think that it was probably years in the making, which is a really horrible thing to do to both of their partners. I mean, can you even imagine if they were going on double dates with their respective spouses while having an affair? It's just too horrible to even think about. But what do you guys think of this? I mean, do you think it's just an average post-divorce relationship like their reps are claiming? Or do you think that they had an affair? And if you do think that they had an affair, how long do you think it was going on for? And lastly, do you think that they'll ever get their jobs back? on Good Morning America. I'm just not seeing it after all this bad press, but what do I know? Anyway, guys, let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments below.